What? Welcome back to Fusion YGO. Today, we are going to do a ban list prediction video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see, I got a whole lot of cards here that I want to talk about. We are going to start with the Snake Eye cards. We're going to start with the original Simple Spoils. I don't think it's going to get hit. I don't think anything's going to happen to uh, original Simple Spoils. I think it should be hit in some meaningful way, but it bridges a lot of level one fires similar to like Volcanic and Rescue Ace. It allows those decks to have playable function. And I don't think that that's going to be the hit. With that having been said, like this card, you, I, you could see it going to banned for sure. It depends on what Konami wants to do, but I think hitting Snake Eyes pretty re like pretty harshly is important. Uh, mostly because it's had almost half a year. It's spent a good portion of that time as at or near tier zero. So I think the most realist, like the most e expectatious hit is to ban Snake Eyes Flamberge Dragon. Uh, tier Limit never got its reprint. And I expect uh, Snake Eyes to kind of go the same way. Uh, so I'm going to expect Flamberge Dragon to be banned. If not, I could see Oak being banned, but I don't think Oak is going to get changed. Um, the other thing that I could see happen, the other thing that I could see going along with this is a Snake Eye Ash Limit. Uh, the card is able to search itself. It's very, very strong. Uh, and its ability to summon another Snake Eye from the deck is really, really, really silly. So I could see that getting hit but I think Poplar remains unchanged as well. And that kind of is it for the Snake Eyes card. I think Flamberge being banned and Snake Eye Oak being, or Ash, I'm sorry, being limited, that's enough. You don't need to, you know, beat a dead horse anymore. And with Snake Eyes Flamberge Dragon gone, that's the reason why IP isn't on here. Um, IP would be here if we were getting rid of Flamberge, but we are, so... That's my expectation is that Flamberge is gone the way. Pairing alongside with something like Snake Eye, has recently been uh, Fiendsmith. And I think there's one card in particular that kind of facilitates all of this. And if this card doesn't go, there's another card that does need to go and we'll talk about it when we get there. But I think that Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal, needs to be banned. Uh, this is not because I hate Burning Abyss. It has nothing to do with my hatred of Burning Abyss. Believe what you want. Uh, but I can honestly see that Beatrice getting banned uh, is... A real thing it bridges a lot of decks it allows fiendsmith to splash into everything um, it gives you a free foolish burial beatrice being banned makes perfect sense another card that i think should be banned is apoloza bow of the goddess uh, apoloza is just insulating plays it's creating too many unfun game states and every deck every top deck that isn't exactly i think ritual beasts is playing it um, and Ritual Beast only doesn't play because they're playing another card that I think should also be banned. Uh, so, should be re-banned. Let me rephrase. So, Apoloza going away makes perfect sense. It fits the theme of what Konami's trying to get rid of. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Yubel, which is the second best deck in the room. You could make the argument that Phantom needs to go. Phantom is, re is basically brand new. It's been out for a couple of weeks. So I think the best case scenario you could see is being limited uh, because it's not once per turn to summon. Phantom going to one, fair. The other card that you could see happening is opening of the Spirit Gates to one. Um, of the two, if you're only hitting one card in Ubel, my bet would be that and this. So this would be the actual bet is that opening the Spirit Gates gets limited. Spirit of Ubel stays at, at three. Opening going to one is actually a bigger hit than people realize. The third best deck in the room, which is uh, Tenpai Dragon, uh, which blows my mind. And for that, I agree with everybody else. Saying and summoning going to one checks out. Like saying and summoning needs to go to one. Um, the card's insane. That's it. There's nothing else. So what gets hit after that? Well, we have to look at Ritual Beasts and Protos. Man, you're a problem. I don't know why you came back, uh, but you need to go back. Go back in your hole. Go away. Shoo. The Ritual Beast that game plan is so cool, but Protoss just takes it away, like takes it from really cool to really unfun. It's the same thing it did in Sword Soul. It just needs to stay away. And after that, we have Despia uh, uh, branded, and there's only really one card that needs to go, and that's Sanctifier Dragon, and that hurts me to say. 
Sanctifier Dragon is so cool. It is not a future-proofed card. Sorry to my fellow branded fans, but Albion the Sanctifier Dragon needs to go away. Uh, next up would be the new FTK. Konami has a history of hitting FTKs and dealing with them. This FTK is kind of silly because it recycles the same card. So rank up magic, uh, Chaos Argent Force, or Argent Chaos Force, uh, you need to go. I think Gimmick Puppet is a really cool deck, but this card facilitating an FTK, this might not be the correct hit. This is the best hit I saw because it just turns off the FTK. Uh, from, what I under from what I understand of the FTK, uh, I think Argent Chaos Force is the right hit, and I think it needs to go away. Simple as that. Um, continuing the meta staple cards, I think Skill Drain could be banned. With Diabell Star still in the format under my list, because I clearly it's not even in my my repertoire of cards that we're gonna hit. Skill Drain's gotta go. The fact the top decks are able to use it to stop their opponent from playing and then just get rid of it on their own turn. That's super fun. Super fair and balanced, everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say that it's gonna get banned. Alright, next up is Wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. I think that it can be limited. Uh, it's, that still keeps it as viable. Uh, it just means that you have to play three Diabell Star. Uh, so it's less searching and more you have to use resources to get to this or to get to your other cards. Um, it forces you to play three copies of Diabell Star uh, without having the recursion, the free draw, all the craziness. So wanted going to one, I think makes perfect sense. Speaking of cards that let you search and add cards from your deck to your hand, I think Pot of Prosperity is finally going to go to one. Uh, of all the pots, this is the one that makes the most sense to go away. Extravagance requires you to get, get rid of random extra deck cards. Desires inherently has a little bit of luck factor to it. Prosperity doesn't really have any cost. It's just saying get rid of a few resources of your own choice, and now you get to manipulate your own game plan that's not randomly generated and decided. Plus, you get to look it up to six cards and pick whatever one just fixes your hand. I think we're going to save the most controversial thing I have for last. Bysteel Druis Worm, I can see going to one. You still have three Baldrake, you three, still have three Sauronir, but one Magna Hut and one Druis Worm, I can see that as a potential hit. But because I know Konami, Druis Worm is the one that we were playing the most of. Like, it could go to two, but I foresee it going to one. Okay, so we haven't hit any semi-limited or unlimited cards, have we? Not yet. Well, the next one is the next three are cards that I think could come off the bay list, but we'll and then the controversial one. So Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. I think it can come back to one. I think it would open up a lot of decks. But it hasn't done so yet. And I don't know of any pendulum decks that are coming out in the coming months. Uh not at least off the not uh, at least not off the top of my head. I'm gonna put it in unchanged. I don't think it's coming back. It just it isn't. Uh, I wish it would. I hope it will before the end of the year. But I don't think at this point it's the right time. It's had its opportunities to come back and it hasn't yet. Speaking of cards that... Uh, Nightmare Mermaid also probably could come back to one. But we're gonna... It's gonna... It's not coming back anytime soon. Guard Dragon LP is also not coming back. These are three cards that I've actually kind of heard a couple of people talk about. LP because... There's a lot, like, Requiem is in the format, and Requiem is objectively better. And that's kind of the reason why I think all three of these could come back. I think they would test the waters with one, but not all three. And I think of the three, the one that's the most likely to get hit, if I had to pick one of these to come back, it would be Electromite. Dimension Shifter, the final card on my ban list prediction. Do we think this is going to get hit? Do we think it's going to get banned? Do we think people are going to clamor for Dimension? No, it's not going anywhere. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Shifter can only be played at specific decks. And yes, there are decks that don't care. But Tempai Dragon now has would have fewer options. Ritual Beast doesn't have Protoss anymore. I think Dimension Shifter, whilst a very powerful card, isn't going anywhere. I, I think it's a pretty necessary evil at this point. Uh, this would open up a couple of decks. Uh, I was supposed to have another card here. Let me see if I can add it real fast there's one more card that i think could get hit and i think it should which is king calamity king calamity getting hit just makes perfect sense to me what does this ban list prediction do well realistically my bet is that stay guy is still playable but not the best deck fit ubel is probably the best deck but is competing with things like 
Tempi Dragon and maybe even Ritual Beasts because I think Ritual Beasts don't need Protos, but it also could shake up the entire meta to where there's a bunch of other decks that could compete. Beatrice not being there. If Beatrice isn't there, Nightmare Griffin needs to go. Uh, that's the other card that I was going to talk about. Nightmare Griffin realistically would have to go if we're going to keep Beatrice in the format because Beatrice just makes some really, really unfun situations. And I think we've had enough of the unfun. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What do you think is the most likely hit? Do you agree with my takes? Do you think I missed a card? Let me know down below. Until next time, lads. Good fun. Have luck. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time.